What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Area 51. I'm Aaron, and today I am going to be opening up some 1990 update from FLIR looking for the infamous Emmett Smith rookie card. Now, each of these should contain one Emmett Smith rookie card. What we are looking for is that perfect one to send off for grading to PSA. Right now, I have four of these sets in front of me. Each is a complete set of the update, update edition from 1990. The player photo cards, complete sealed sets. This is how they came back in the day. Got these recently from a vendor online. Emmett Smith's rookie card has been going way, way, way up. He has a couple of different versions. This is the one that I'm most interested in trying to find for my personal collection. So we're going treasure hunting to find that perfect PSA 10 because I have a PSA order going out today. Let's see if we can get one to send off with it. All right, everybody, let's get started. We're going to start with this one on the end here. Crack this open. I'm going to try not to damage the boxes. There's not much else in this set worth anything, to be quite honest with you. There's a little bit of value, but not much. It's 120 cards. Comes right out of the box this way. Pretty nice little set. I dig these old Fleer cards. The Fleer 90. We got a couple of big names in here, too, that are funny. Uh, not worth anything, but funny names. There's Ron Rivera, Riverboat Ron. All right, let's see, see what we got. I don't think Fleer put these in order. Clear did not put them in order. There's Mark Bortz, Everson Walls, Calvin Williams, Alexander Wright, Andre Ware, Ray Agnew, Eddie Johnson, Aaron Wallace, Greg Bell, Lewis Oliver, Mike Merriweather, Gary Anderson. There's a checklist here. Ernest Biner, running back for Washington. Barry Foster, Eric Davis. There's Eric Davis. Johnny Johnson, Bern Brostick, Kevin Haverdink, Robert Blackman, Brad Baxter, Jeff Donaldson, Robert Brown. There is William Perry. William Refrigerator Perry. What a beast. Mark Vlasic, Lewis Tillman, Andre Waters, Emmett Smith. There we go. That's who we're looking for. This one's pretty nice. Well-rounded all the way around. Looks good on the back. Pretty good with that. That one's probably going to PSA. Good deal. I like that. That makes me happy. Emmett number one looks like a potential 10. Well-centered. Very nice looking. We'll set it right here. I'm going to go through this set. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through this set so you can at least get a view of what all these are. And then the next ones will go right to Emmett's. So there's Don Mags, Jeff George, Leroy Horde, Bill Pickle, Andre Risen. There's a good name. Daryl Talley, Henry Thomas. There is Ian Beckles, Melvin Bratton, Andre Collins, Eric Green. Keith DeLong, Eric Hill, Aaron Cox, Ruben Mays, Derek Finner, Jeff Criswell. And while I'm going through this, just so you know what this set is, this set is people that were traded into new teams or rookies for the most part. There's Tim Grundhard, Leroy Butler, Dan Hampton, Billy Joe Tolliver, Gary Reasons, Ben Smith, Ken Norton. Ken Norton. Alan Pinkett, Ray Donaldson, Mike Babb, Vance Mueller, Brian Jordan, Leon Seals, Daryl Fullington, Reggie Cobb, Gary Kubiak. There's Gary Kubiak. You know the coach. Russ Grimm, Tunch Ilkin, Brett Jones, Tim Rosenbach, Cleveland Gary, Steve Walsh. Old Saints, Andy Heck, Jeff Lajman, Lagman, Dan Saluma, am I saying that right? I think, Anthony Delwig, Mark Carrier, Junior Seau, 
Pretty sure this is Junior Seau's rookie, maybe. I think. This may be Junior Seau's rookie. I'm going to have to look. He would be the other name in here, if so. Rodney Hampton. Jim McMahon. Dennis McKinnon. Hayward Jeffries. Dean Biasucci. Chris Singleton. Willie Galt. Scott Case. And Frank Wright. The coach. Now the coach. And uh, this had some players that were not in the previous Fleer set, the base set, when they did the update. Richmond Webb, Keith McCants, Alton Montgomery, Stan Humphreys, Gerald Williams, Daryl Pollard, Anthony Thompson, Fred Strickland, James Francis, Cortez Kennedy, Rob Moore, Emil Harry, Darrell Thompson, Mari Buford, Gary Plummer, John Elliott, David Alexander, Robert Awalt, William Fuller, Albert Bentley, Greg McCurty, Tim Brown. There's Tim Brown, wide receiver. Steve Broussard, Glenn Parker, Tony Page, Lemuel Stinson, Ricky Natil, Martin Mayhew, Hardy Nickerson, Steve Wallace. Dexter Carter, Pat Terrell, Harold Green, Terry Wooden, and Blair Thomas. That rounds out the complete set of the 1990 football update series from Fleer. So, just so you know, with that being the case, what we have here, we're looking for the Emmett Smith. So, if you're just joining us, uh, Emmett Smith's rookie card is in here. The Fleer one is a pretty iconic, as you can see by the pose. I'll pull this one up so you can see here. This one's going to be probably a 10 from PSA. The conditions on these are, are pretty nice, coming right out of the box. Printing on this was really nice. Oh, apparently there were a couple of cards left in the box there. It was Keith Woodside and Percy Snow as the last two in the box there. So I'll put these right back in. Uh, I think this is the Junior Seau rookie card here. I'm going to set that sideways so we know that that is there. I, I'm almost certain this is Junior Seau rookie. Centering is not so good on it, unfortunately. The top and the bottom are off a little bit in comparison, like if you see it side by side with the Emmett Smith rookie. But, oh yeah, it is his rookie. So, I'm a big Junior Seau fan. Uh, kind of tragic what happened with him. Uh, I liked his restaurant in San Diego when I used to work for uh, what is now Panini. Uh, I used to travel for shows and went to San Diego Comic Con. And every time I went to San Diego Comic Con, I made it a point to go eat at Seau's there in San Diego. All right, everybody, so we're going to open up the next three. Now, I'm not going to go through every card in the box. I'm going to pull out Emmett Smith and Junior Seau in these, but I'm not actually going to search through and show every single card coming out. No real reason for that. Uh, I wanted to show the first one so everybody knew what to expect out of the box, but the rest of these, really only value is coming out of Emmett and the Junior Seau. So, Potential, I might leave one sealed at the end of this just because if the tens, man, that one has a giant scratch across these. Looks like some type of packing defect. In theory, if I think I get uh, two, at least two tens out of the first two sets, then I will probably leave the third one sealed. Ricky Neto, let's see, where is, where is Emmett? Come on, Emmett, where are you? Where are you? These are never in the same orders, by the way. Uh, they are kind of packed in there. In theory, there's one of every card. There's Junior. There's one of every card in here, but they are just not in the same order as they are in the box prior. Come on, Emmett. Let's see here. Man, we've hit all the Cowboys, I think, except for Emmett.
goodness. Well, come on, Emmett. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, that's a nice one too. That one's a little, little more off center than the first one, but it is a nice one at least. Let's see what we got here. For my prom, we were running a little bit late, and the limo driver for prom was like, hey, you want me to take you all by something cool? And we were like, yeah, sure. Turns out he surprised us. He was like, pop your head out the sunroof, and we all jump out and kind of pop out and look, and uh, sure enough, he was driving us by Emmett Smith's house. Of course, Emmett was still playing, although not in Dallas at the time when I was at prom. Not uh, That gives you an idea of, of dating, of how old I am. A little bit of a, a ding down here in the corner. It's a printing thing, you can tell. It's kind of a rounded corner, so this will fetch a nine, most likely. The centering is not too far off, and PSA doesn't do the um, electric grading yet with the computers, not the same way as the some of the other newer companies do, so that'll probably still fetch a nine. A nine is not good enough for me to want to send it right now to PSA, though, honestly. Not on my agenda for that one. Junior, let's see, I want a Junior Seau PSA graded for my personal collection. This one's not going to get there. Way off center top to bottom, as you can see there. Nice otherwise, though. Definitely nice otherwise. All right. So there's an Emmett. That's a 9. That Emmett's going to be a 9. So... Going on to the next one. Let's see. Which one do I want to open? Man, it's hard to tell. I don't know. Uh, I'll open this one. Let's see what we get here. So one Emmet that I think will come back a 10 pretty consistently. And one Emmet that is probably going to be a 9. We got a Junior Seau that I think would be an 8, and a Junior Seau rookie that I think would be a 9. So no 10 on Junior yet. Let's hope I hit a 10 on Junior and another 10 on Emmett, and uh, I'll be able to keep the last one of these sealed. I'm used to showing the empty box for breaks when people buy in, so I'm showing it. And it's like, I don't care if it's an empty box. It's my box. I own them all. Here we go. Let's see. Where is Emmett? Oh, Emmett. Come on, Emmett. Where are you? You know, first box, he was at the beginning. Last box, he was at the back. I bet this box, he's going to be somewhere near the center. There's Junior. Man, that Junior is way off center, too. Hard to get one that's not off center. That makes me super sad. I was really hoping that Junior was going to come out and be a 10. That would have made me super happy if that was the case. I am happy that one Emmett, at least, is looking like a 10. Won't know till we get it back, but... Come on, Emmett, where are you? Where are you? Nothing yet. There he is. He's just hiding. All right, this one's definitely not a 10. Might be a 9 if I'm lucky, but that off-center top to bottom is pretty bad. Again, can't really tell it on the back of these cards, but the front, very noticeable. Looks like we're going to be opening up the fourth set because both Junior and Emmett out of this were 9s at best. At best, 9s. Let's see here. Junior, let's take one last look at Junior, make sure. Yep, off-center. He's actually off-center left to right and off-center top to bottom. Again, can't really tell it very much on the back. Just a little bit down here where the football logo is because it starts to get close to the edge. But the backs on these are very forgiving. The fronts, not at all. With that solid white border that they do, not forgiving. 
All right, so we're going to open the fourth and final one, hoping, 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 at the very least, that Junior is a 10. Crossing our fingers that we get at least an Emmett in there that is a 10, because that would be what we're hunting for. And at best case, I could be saying a little prayer that both of them are a 10. Because if both are a 10, my break for myself and my PC and this PSA submission will be complete. All right, here we go. I get a lot of people that ask sometimes why I'm willing to open junk wax. Um, they talk about circulation and stuff. Let me tell you. It's kind of cool to say I have one of these sitting up on the shelf, and junk wax is becoming harder to find as far as values. Values on them are going up. Um, but honestly, I'm totally fine taking these out of circulation because there is so much product in circulation of these that um, it, I don't foresee not being able to... See, there I go again, showing the box like I need to show the empty box for verification. What is that? Oh, there's a filler card in this one. Filler card. Interesting. That's the first. All right, let's see what we got here. There's so many of these produced that if I ever wanted a sealed set, I feel like I could go get one. And while I do expect the Emmett Smiths to go up, which will drive the, the prices on this up, um, I don't think the full sets will ever go up so much that they'll be out of reach where... I can just pick one up if I wanted one. There's Junior. That Junior's nice, but it's off center the other direction now. That makes me sad. All right, we're banking on Emmett. Come on, Emmett. I need you to be a 10, my friend. Let's get that 10. Come on, I need all the good energy. All the good energy. Let's do it. Come on, Emmett. I need that Emmett to be a 10. Here we go. He should be creeping up on us any moment now. There he is. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Not as good as the first one, but it's close. It's close. It looks pretty good. Let's look at the back. Backs are pretty forgiving on these. It looks pretty good. I don't know if it'll pull a 10, because I can tell it's just a little off-center. But thankfully, PSA doesn't use the most up-to-date technology for their grading. So, there's a little bit of forgiveness on the centering. And I think this might pull a 10. I think we might have gotten lucky and got another 10 on Emmett. How about that? Two nines, two tens. Crossing my fingers, it's going to PSA either way. Hopefully it comes back 10. Very cool. So, let's take a look at Junior here. Just to make sure. Junior Seau rookie. Way off center over here. Way off center down here. None of those juniors were good enough. Which makes me really sad. Because I really would like a Junior Seau PSA 10 rookie for my collection. I might have to go... Buy one already graded. It looks like those are going to be much harder to find in 10 quality. There's the first one. The first one is still the best one we pulled out of all of them. It's just not blatantly off-center. On the back, looks pretty good. I might, might submit this one just to see. Might come back as a nine. I don't know. But that top to bottom, you can tell the top to bottom centering is off just a hair. And you can, if you can see it by the naked eye without looking up close, that tells me it's not going to fetch a 10. And I don't do quantifiers on stuff. So none of those qualifiers on my grades. All right, everybody. Let's take a look at these last two Emmets. Now, here's the first two. First two, you can see, are fairly off center, top to bottom. This one is a little bit left to right. This one is top to bottom. So these are probably nines because corners are all good on them. They're nice. It's just that centering that's off. So these would probably pull a nine because of that because they're pretty much perfect otherwise. 
These two, however, these are the darlings. This one is, I'm, I'm certain this one's gonna pull a 10. This one, however, might pull a nine because I can tell it's not perfect. There's just something about it that says not perfect to the naked eye. But I don't know that PSA will see it that way because they are fairly forgiving on some of these older older prints since they don't do the electronic centering measurements. So, all right, everybody. That has been another Area 51 video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. This was a lot of fun to open up the 90 update series, Fleer Football, looking for treasure, looking for those Emmett Smith rookies and the Junior Seau rookies. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you like this video, please do hit that subscribe button at the bottom. It truly means the world to us. Do check out some of our other videos. We do all kinds of educational content, all types of reviews on products, openings, breaks, you name it, we do it. We would love to have you on board to catch up on some cool future videos with us and join our podcast 8 30 central standard time on monday and thursday nights on twitch area 51 collectibles do check us out we do random giveaways we do all kinds of cool stuff on there and we talk about the latest industry trends blake and i have been in the industry more than 40 years i used to be a store owner i used to work for score entertainment back in the day uh, for what is now panini so we have a lot of industry knowledge that we like to share with everybody and talk about some of our different aspects more importantly we like to get your opinion and get you involved so come over and join us on Twitch Monday and Thursdays, 8.30 Central Standard Time. Until then, everybody, thank you for joining us again. Have a great day.